Hi everyone, uh, I am Prerak and in this video I am going to show you how you can take a snapshot of all your holders uh, of a specific uh, policy ID asset uh, on Cardano blockchain. Uh, this video might be relevant uh, if you are running a, uh, an NFT project. So you need, uh, you might be doing an airdrop and you need to get uh, the information of all your holders. Or let's say if, if you are a stake pool operator or if you run a DAO, I need to uh, distribute the rewards or maybe you need to uh, do an airdrop uh, and you need to get a list of all the holders of your particular asset. For this particular uh, program, I'll be using, I'll be coding it in Python and I'll be using it using an API uh, called the Blockfrost API. I'll be just uh, going over their website and sign up. So this is uh, what their website looks like. Uh, I'll be signing in with Google. You can do uh, whatever you like. So once you have signed in, uh, this is what your uh, dashboard should look like. You have an option to add a project, so you should go there and you should uh, give your uh, uh, project a name. So I'll just go with Snapshot Ticker. And this project should be on the uh, Cardano mainnet since you want to track all the assets on the mainnet. You do a save project. And now what you should do, you should uh, save your API key somewhere. You can always uh, come back to this dashboard also, uh, but uh, you need to have this API key in order for your program to run. Now we'll just go inside the text editor and start coding. So first of all, what we need to do is, uh, we need to import two libraries. We need to have Python requests and CSV. Okay. Now, what you do is you ask the user what their uh, API key is. Firstly, you, you make a variable called block first API key. Then you ask for the uh, policy ID of the project. Uh, once you're through with that, uh, it might also make sense to instantiate a variable called the base API. So we, we need, so we need not uh, write it over again and again. I'll go over the documentation of Blockfrost and show you what this looks like. So also, uh, I just uh, forgot to tell you about the pricing. I'm using the free plan uh, of Blockfrost. And it gives me 50,000 requests a day and this, uh, this should be uh, sufficient for most of your use cases. Uh, but otherwise, if you need more than that, you can uh, opt for one of the uh, costlier plans. So uh, we'll uh, go to documentation now. Uh, for the uh, Cardano mainnet, uh, this is what the endpoint looks like. So I'll just copy it here. Once I'm here, I uh, instantiate this variable. Uh, and then after that, we need to make uh, another variable. This is going to be a Python dictionary variable. Uh, and the key of this should be project underscore ID. Uh, and the value should be uh, your API key, obviously. So what happens is that whenever you make a call to the API, you need to uh, add your uh, API key inside the header of that request. Then you need to instantiate uh, an array. We'll just uh, be storing all our uh, assets inside it. Now what you need to do is uh, you need to make another variable called page. I'll, I'll tell you why we need this. So for the first uh, part of the program, what we try to do is uh, we are trying to fetch all the assets of our uh, policy ID. 
so we are using this particular uh, api uh, assets of a specific policy id and what it does is it uh, the response which it gives us it uh, gives you a response on the number of pages uh, so the page has to be passed as a search query parameter and uh, uh, what will happen is that it will give you 100 assets on one particular page so what we'll do is we'll keep incrementing the value of the page variable and as soon as we know that it is not returning any more assets now uh, we'll just break out of that loop So oh, we'll do a while true. Now we need to make our first request. I've already shown you the API which we are using. So first it will be base API, then assets policy. after that you need to plug in the project policy id and then you need to have the page parameter we also need to pass the key as headers uh, once you are done with that you increment the value of page uh, and also you need to check if it is uh, if, if it is returning any more or not So we will just check check its length and if it is equal to 0 we break out of the loop we'll break out of it if it is not zero will iterate over all the assets which we have uh, received now what we do is we need if we make a temporary dictionary and we'll be storing all the information about the asset in this particular dictionary what happens is that uh, the request uh, it gives you a response uh, which contains the po uh, the policy id of the asset and then after that uh, the appended hex name of the asset uh, will we need to change it into the plain text format and then use it so first we uh, get the hex name from the response uh, and we remove the first n uh, policy id characters from that Uh, then what we do is we convert it into plain text uh, asset hex name and we'll also store the response which we got i'll tell you why we need it we'll need it later Okay, so we are done with it, and uh, once we are done with it, we'll just append it inside the all asset uh, array as well. Once we are through with that, uh, you need to make another array called data. And now what we will do is, okay, so I'll show you the API again. Uh, now what you are trying to do is you already have the list of all the assets which belong to a particular policy id now what you need to do is you need to get the addresses in which uh, that particular uh, asset will be, uh, belongs so if it is an nft project it is going to be just uh, one address because uh, it is uh, unique so, uh, so i'll be coding it uh, according to uh, an nft project uh, but it if, but if it if it is uh, something else then you can just uh, change the code a little and uh, that should work for you Uh, okay so uh, i'll be using uh, this uh, for now so let's code it up now uh, i'm iterating over all the assets which are already have inside the array now you need to make another request
then you need to plug in the asset value so this is uh, why we had saved uh, the asset value also and after that so i think we are running into some problem here i'll just uh, write it again so first we need to add the base api then assets asset and then we need to find all the addresses which in the case of nfts is going to be one you also need to pass the api key in the form of header here also uh, then you get the address from this like i said if it is an nft it is going to be only a length one so this should do the trick after that what you do is you append uh, this information inside the data array so that it can be printed easily in the form of a csv file so i'll make an array so the first uh, element of the array is going to be the asset name and the second element is going to be the address where it resides so just so we know that it is working i'll also uh, print the asset here finally what we need to do is uh, we need to make a new file where we want to save all this info uh, and then we also need to make a csv writer delimiter will obviously be a comma okay after that uh, what we'll do is we'll write in, uh, inside the file write rows of data and finally what we'll do is uh, we'll close the file so we are not getting any errors so i'll just try to run it once so first uh, we are going to give it the api key so i'll copy my api key from the uh, dashboard of blockfrost after that it is asking me for the project policy id so i'll go to jpg store and this is uh, a project which Uh, this is an nft project which i run so i'll be taking the policy id from this project you can check it out if you want i'll put the link uh, we're just going to wait and if it starts uh, printing the names of uh, my assets then i should know that it is working okay so it's working so it is printing the names of all the assets uh, which i have inside my uh, policy id and it is also meanwhile storing the information of all the Uh, addresses uh, which their assets belong to so this print is the this line which is being uh, executed this is going to take a while so uh, i would uh, so my particular project has uh, about 1600 uh, policy ids so uh, 1600 just a second so my particular project has about 1600 assets so this is going to take a while i would say around 5 to 6 minutes and once we're done with it so i'll just speed speed this part up 
and once we are done i'll show you the program has stopped working now i think it took about uh, eight to nine minutes i'll just open the csv file now okay so as you can uh, see it is uh, showing me uh, the name of all the assets and then after that it is showing me the address in which uh, these particular assets belong yeah so this is pretty much it uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please uh, check out my NFT project. Uh, we are minting in July of 2022. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. And if you have any questions or have any video ideas for me, you can put it in the comments. Thank you so much.